Hey, this is John Carlos, and I am here with a look at the NECA Ultimate Alex Murphy action figure from Robocop. Here's a look at the inside of the packaging and the little photo on the inner flap. Let me just say up front, I think it's pretty fantastic that NECA made this figure. Robocop is one of my all-time favorite films. It's definitely my favorite of all of Paul Verhoeven's films. And there's so much merchandise for Robocop that's Robocop. But Peter Weller is so great in the role. And, and we don't really have a lot of Peter Weller merch. So getting a figure that honors like Alex Murphy as a character and that honors Peter Weller's like likeness and everything... I think this is just great. Also, just as a fan of Robocop, I always thought the police outfits that they wear in Detroit were just pretty cool. So having this uniform in toy form from a company like NECA is pretty cool. You can see there's a lot of good details within the wrinkling of the pants and the boots and all that. Um, but the like the little padding right there on the legs, the vest looks pretty good. I do have some nitpicks. Like, right out of the packaging, uh, the vest is not fully attached. Like, it's got these two uh, plugs that go into these two holes. There's a secondary vest, which, you know, we'll get to in a moment. It's meant to be detachable and, and all that, but I'm just surprised that right out of the packaging, not only is it not attached, but I have been trying to get the pegs to line up to the hole, and it's kind of, like, reached its limit. It's pretty tight. Also, I know that this arm is meant to be, like, detachable and replaceable with a different arm, but, like, it doesn't really plug in that deep. It keeps popping out when I'm articulating it and, and getting it into certain poses. It kind of wiggles out. Um... There are some very nice details, though, with those nitpicks aside. The uh, patch paint on the side uh, of his shoulders, you know, just the overall paint scheme, the kind of dirty black wash over the blue, really gives this some nice texture. Uh, and then the head, this head of three, which has a flippable visor, the helmet has some nice details. Uh, but the head likeness here, at least as far as uh, Weller's nose, his lips, uh, his eyes, the eyebrow ridge. This looks really, really good. Now, while we're on this subject, I'll show you these two alternate heads. This one is pretty intense um, in its severity of this eye looking up and this eye looking more straightforward. He's a little cross-eyed, um, but I won't really be displaying it with this head anyway, so I don't care. But again, good job with the cheekbones, the lips, the hair looks pretty good. I prefer him with the helmet. But this head, it's so, like ghastly in its expressiveness. If you're watching this review, then you probably already know the, ex the accessories that this comes with, so you can recreate him getting his hand and arm shot off. Um, I mean, the, the agony that's in the sculpt right there in the eyes and the eyebrows and that mouth, the paint on the teeth and the inside of the mouth, but the expression on those eyes, it's crazy good. The blood splatter. Speaking of blood, here's a look at his alternate vest with all the, the, the bullet wounds in it. Um, at least from the front, the paint on it is nice and bloody and gross. Also, the sculpt of where the fabric has been blown apart is great. Uh, we come, it comes with this blood splatter that you can plug into the wrist. I'm, we're we're going to show you all this stuff in a moment. He comes with two alternate um, gun grip hands for left and right. Probably one of my favorite accessories. He comes with this gun twirling hand, uh, which is a really nice touch that you can use. Uh, with these pistols that it comes with and uh, the paint especially right there the little silver tip there is well done and then lastly you can take out his arm that I showed you that was loose and replace it with this stump here's a closer look at some of the gack on his belt and I've also put the pistol into the holster and it fits really nicely into the holster more importantly though this pistol fits really well onto his finger for a like gun twirling effect. Uh, there are times when I look at some product by NECA and you can really tell that uh, it has been made by fans, by nerds who care about the license. And you can tell whoever was behind this figure definitely cared enough to include this because this is super cool. As a fan of Robocop, like I was planning on displaying this figure with his his arm blown off and the and the ag agony face and all that, but I'm I'm having second thoughts just because I think the gun twirling effect looks so damn cool. And I will say this head that I don't plan on displaying, the hole in the head, 
is uh, pretty tight. I haven't taken a blow dryer to it yet to loosen it, but it's really hard getting it to fit onto the neck stump. But I mean, man, that looks super cool. As cool as that looks though, this looks so much cooler. Um, the expression and the, the blood splatter really does just look really dynamic on display. Now, it is worth noting that the blood splatter is made of a really soft plastic and trying to mush it into the, the hole for the wrist, it is kind of soft and I still haven't actually got it in all the way. So you're definitely gonna have to like blow dry, heat up, boil, whatever, to get that, that wrist to open up a bit. Um, Cause this is kind of soft and kind of fights against you putting it in. Um, but man, the, the presence of this can't be denied. It is ghoulish and ghastly and I kind of love it. It is worth noting that the blood splatter has like a flat side that lines up to uh, one edge of the side of the plug. And that is so you can properly lay the figure's arm and the entire figure flat on the shelf so you can recreate the moment where Murphy gets his hand blown off. Lastly, we have this configuration, which might be my favorite simply because of how intense and grotesque it is. Like, I gotta give it up to NECA for even doing this because if I'm being honest, it's kind of fucked up. But you know what? Robocop is a pretty heavy on the R-rated, like R-rated movie. Uh, the violence is extreme violence. The blood is like extreme gore. And uh, I think if you're a fan of Robocop, like, I don't think you would expect any toy company in their right mind to make this, but you would always kind of wish, wouldn't it be neat? Wouldn't it be kind of crazy or weird if someone did? And the fact that NECA did, uh, I applaud them because this is uh, definitely like an adu uh, adult decision to make like a very adult toy from a very adult movie. And, and it definitely reads, uh, honestly, pretty, pretty horrifying, I think, in toy form. But, but as a fan, it's such a, a major moment in the movie and such a major part of like modern American cinema's like gore, like th the decimation of, of Murphy in that scene is, is something that, you know, generations of, of young adults or kids who then grew up to be adults, like, there's a lot of great gore in this movie, um, but, but for, for NECA to really commit to this, uh, bravo, bravo, it's the sort of thing that, like, uh, someone older than me would say, oh, that's such, oh, what poor toy, poor taste, you know, but I, I think it's great. I love it. Um, so yeah, that's, that's my review of this figure. They, they made some really, uh, bold choices with it that I think as a fan, fans would really, really appreciate. Uh, and, and it's just, yeah, look at that. Look at that. That's my review. Look at that. Thanks for watching everybody. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this figure. If you want to be up to date with all my latest reviews, be sure to click subscribe.